thanks for joining me today. Got a little job on here. We've got a Fiat 500 door angle. Now, the problem you get with these is it uh, breaks at the front there. So that uh, pulls away. Still opens from the back, but the front bit breaks. So what we've got here, I'll put a link in the description for a new door handle. Um, we get a nice shiny one there. And also a new link rod there. So let's crack on. Let's get the door panel off. Let's get it changed over. We're going to need a couple of tools to get this sorted. We, uh, we're going to need a standing knife, a bit of tape, screwdriver with uh, a TX30 Torx bit, and also a 5mm Allen key. Uh, we need a screwdriver for just levering the panel. Let's go for it. First thing we've got to do is just get this little trim off of here and this little trim off around the handle. So got a couple of little screwdrivers. Um, I'll try that one first, we'll get that in there, just literally pop that plastic trim out there. Pulls away from the top, revealing the two five mil bolts there. And then we're just gonna get this in behind this trim here as well. This just, the whole thing just pops forward. It's just a case of getting in. If we go down the bottom, we're not gonna see if we do mark it slightly. It's tight. go Ooh. just work it in there until we find where the clip is and just prise it away like so and then we'll slip that and then there's a five mil in there as well that there's just got these little clips holding it in a little bit tight not too bad though so screwdriver got my milwaukee bit box here I'll put links in the description for all of this stuff. These are brilliant. So here we've got a five millimeter hex. We'll drop that into the end of the screwdriver and then we can get these out. There's one. door handles joined to the lock assembly with a cable so the door, we'll have to release that once we get the panel off now then this this panel is held on with clips the, the hidden clips so we've got to force it away either using a trim tool of some sort or a big screwdriver see me trying to release this if start down at the bottom just get that in behind the trim there and literally just push and away she comes we're going to do that all the way around. Just working his way around, just doing it as we go. Until it's completely released. Got something in the of that. And then the top one's away as well, so that's all loose. The last bit is a bang upwards, so get your legs under all your... And just give it a bash it upwards and then it's off. So now we've just got to get that cable out. Look, this cable here. So now you can see this cable. We pull the little tab down at the bottom and pop that cable forwards. Move your hands out of the way. I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Oh no, look, you just literally push the little cable and pop it out. Sorry about my hands being in the way. Like that. And on this one we just push that clip back and the cable comes out of there. We've also got some wires on this one for the um, mirror. So we push the little tab on the back of the switch and release that as well. Now my whole switch did come out. Not a problem though, it will just push back in. Now we're into the door panel, we've just got to Sometimes you can peel these back, but it rips like that. So ideal thing is to cut it and use tape on it. So we'll cut a little incision, just straight in round there like that. 
And if you've got a sharp standing off, it'd be better than my blunt one. <laughs> I need a new blade in that. Chances are your window will be up anyway. I only dropped it so that I could uh, get the camera through to film me taking that door cable clip off. Which reveals the bolt inside here. So I've got a 10mm socket on the end of a ratchet there. We can undo that. Now that there, well we better get this metal bit out of here without it scratching anything. And that's the broken piece. Okay, in the end of this door panel here, there's this TX30. So we'll get the bit of box out again. TX30. Put it in the end of the screwdriver and whiz that out of there as well. Now I did also notice that you can just replace that broken hinge on the handle. So rather than replacing the whole handle, you can just get the small piece on the end, but you still have to take the handle off and strip it down. So it's up to you if you replace the whole thing or not. So here we go, we've got to go inside the back of the door now and these are the link rods that are attaching the handle to the actual lock mechanism, the door latch and they're held on with these little plastic clips much like the, uh, the door handle uh, on the inner panel. So we're going to have to take those off. So what we do is get his hand in there and you just push in that little clip back off that bar like that and it pops out. So then you push that red lever down and it reveals the blue one behind and we'll do the same with that one as well. Now I didn't take both of these off to start with, I, um, I, I just released them from the plastic hoping I'd be able to pull the handle through. Um, but you do actually need to release from the handle as well, otherwise you end up like this and struggling. These are extremely tight, extremely tight to get out. Now on this model, the door's been repainted as well, so it's got an extra layer of paint and it's also got an extra layer of lacquer on it. So um, that's the tolerances and how tight this is. It is it is so tight. What you've got to do though, is slide it to the right, away from the edge of the door, and then it should come forward. But, as you'll see, it is it is unbelievably tight to get it out. It really is. All the videos I've seen on this on the net, um, they're all a bit, they miss this bit out. They, they go, yeah, you just slide it forward and pull it and pop it out. Um, uh, and, it, and it's misleading because this is the hardest bit, getting this out. Now I haven't took that link rod off yet and this is as far as you sort of get. You get it out as far as that and it just won't come out the rest of the way until you've released the little link rod from inside the door off the handle itself. You can leave one of the link rods on for the, the one that goes from the locking barrel down, the blue one, but you've got to take that red that red clip off and also the, where, it, where it attaches to the lock at the top. You've got to pop that out with a screwdriver. I'll show you a picture of that in a minute. Um, but I was faffing with this thinking, surely this should come out with those, those link rods attached. You should better just pull it out, but you, you can't. You've got to take, the, uh, you've got to take the, first, the first link rod off. And it is, like I say, it's really, really tight. Really tight to get it out. And I'm just there sort of scratching my head thinking, it can't be this hard to get it out. It's really, really tricky. And also, if you've got that piece of metal still attached to the broken piece on the hinge there, you can see how much damage I'd be causing to the door if I'd left it on there. So it's important, really important that you do take that out, otherwise you'll be scratching your door up. So here we go, we're back inside. We're gonna take this, see that there? You stick a screwdriver in that little gap there and pop that top link off. Just like that, off it comes. And then we can get rid of that one, which now just gives us that a tiny, tiny amount of clearance. It's still not easy, it's still really tight and you're in fear of popping the paint off. But you just see that now coming through there. How tight is that? It's ridiculous. So tight, but oof, there it is. Wow, horrendous, but it's out, which is good. Let's go about swapping everything over. We've got the old lock there with the barrel attached. We're gonna to have to swap the barrel over. The 
got his new one here. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop that one out of there. We literally just push that little tab. Which is tight. That's the always on. I'll see if I can stab myself with a screwdriver while I'm trying to get it off. <laughs> fiddly though, little fiddly thing. You just got to push that clip down, spin it round, and then the bar will come out the top. Go on. <laughs> really tight. It is. Oh, blimey. Come on. You can do it. Oh, there it goes. Which is, now release that rod there, and now that one will come out. And is there a difference in this? Yeah. A bit loosey goosey in there. I'm not sure why we get two rods because they both look identical. It all looks the same. Mm, not sure. But anyway, let's put the new one in. Again, you just pop that through, slide the clip round. Bit fiddler, but uh, it will just click into place. Like that. Now we're going to swap the barrels over, so we'll peel back the, the shiny stuff, and the protective cover. Right, and so this old one, to get the barrel out, what we're going to do is get the key. Put the key in the, in the barrel. So you turn that from this is upside down now so from the upside down side if you turn it you can see there's a circle up there so we'll turn that key pop the screwdriver in and grab hold of that circle up there we'll try to there we go look out it comes pop that out out of there, like that. And I can turn that back down. Noting which way round we are, we can now try and pop out this barrel, which is going to be stiff. Turn the key, give it so you can get hold of it, and it should come away with a little tug like that. Bringing out the little seal there, the dust seal. So, again, keeping it all the same way. Which is that way up. That's the way that's going to go back in again. So, we'll draw that out, and we'll pop that back in there. Making sure that seal's in nice. Move that one out of the way a sec. And then push this back in again. Like that. And there we go. Now we can just crank it over and get that circlet back in again. Unbeknown to me, there was a circlet already fitted in the new lock, which is fantastic because it just clicks into place. That's what looks like it's got a new circlip in it. That's got a new <laughs> so you don't need to put the circlip back, it's actually still got one there, look. So we've just literally pushed the new pushed the barrel back in again and it's locked it in on the new circlip. So it's there, that is that is the barrel back in again, which is nice. We haven't got a duff about with the circlip. Brilliant. We can get that pointing downwards where it needs to be. Go and get that back in the door. Judging on how odd it was to come out, it's not going to be the easiest thing to put back in, and we have got to be wary about scratching stuff. 
this door's been repainted at some point you can see we've got lacquer and stuff so I'm not going to wipe this down I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't want to uh, well put dirt where it already is and, and already is so I'm just going to leave there's a lip all around because it says it's been repainted at some point so let's just drop that back in again there we've got to pull the handle out to lower that down there we're going to go in nose first keeping it all apart and this is where we're going to really see how tight it is to get it in it's extremely tight to get it past that point there but there we go that's in past that bit there now we just need to get this top bit under there as well Crazy tight this, crazy tight. I've just got to get that past that bit there, like that. Spin that around there and then drop that in to there. Push that down. Locate that past the little recess. We're almost there, it's close. It's really close. This is the point where I'm thinking this is going to be really, really difficult to get it back in again. I mean, you, the idea is you get it in on the right and then slide it back to the left, but it's got to go through the door, through the door to be able to slide it to the left. And what with the extra paint, the seals on this new lock are um, a bit more plasticky than the original, so there's not a lot of give on it either. Um, it just makes it extremely hard to try and slide it across. And I was really, really, really struggling to get it through enough to, to do it. What I'm going to do before I really mess about this is put the bolt back on really loosely so that it doesn't come out and scratch the door. So let's just put that on with a few threads on the back. So I can't come out now and scratch the door while we're dossing with this. And this is it. Um, just really struggled, really struggled. Um, I've tried everything, I've tried pushing it, twisting it, and it just won't manipulate fully through the door. It's almost like it's just too its just too thick the door is to get it through, or the handle, maybe, I mean the old one was tight to come out as well, but this is a Chinese copy. Um, slight, just imperfections in the manufacturing, for whatever reason, it was a nightmare to try and get it through and get it back into place. Yeah, go on, hit it. Hit it harder. It's, it's gone in a little bit, but not quite enough. It's so close. I can't tell you how close it is, but it's got to be right through. So, I'm just thinking, is there something wrong with this lock? Is it the handle that's not... Is there something wrong with it? This can't be right. And like I say, all the other videos I've looked at, there isn't many showing the driver's side as well, which with this barrel through it makes it even harder. Um, it's a real difficult one. That's what to do. You've got to give it a right good whack. I'm being a bit delicate at the minute. Bang, did you hear that little click then? And then whack it to the left. Come on, go on. You've got to be a bit rough with this. I'm scared of breaking it a bit because it's only plastic. Wowzers, it is so tight. That is incredibly tight. And it's a different shape to the old one slightly. But that's eBay for you. <laughs> you can actually see the difference there. If I pull it now with the thread, it might just drag it back a bit. Hopefully, we'll soon see. Okay, so I can get it back a bit more. Oh, here we go. Woo! Wow, what a battle that was. What a battle. But we got there in the end. Okay, let's pop that screw back in the end there. I can't tell you the relief of that actually clicking back into place. It was, uh, yeah, it, it was a bit of a sort of squeaky bum moment when it wasn't going in, thinking what the heck are we gonna do with this? And we're gonna to have to file something down or whatever, but it it has gone in, nice. which is yeah, really nice.
and then we can do this all the way up now. And for those of you with a keen eye, you can see they've also ripped the uh, the shower curtain just below it as well. I did do. I got I ripped that. Got my camera through and my hand through to try and get those clips off. As odd, I couldn't get it all through the top hole. <laughs> Not to worry, though, we've got some tape. There we go. Look, get the uh, get the torch in there. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> you'll see that in a bit. So this link rod. That's the blue one goes on the back. We put that through and we clip that in place. And then the same with the front one, the red one, we clip that in at the bottom and then locate it in the top. And it literally just pushes back in the top like a little fish hook. So you clip that one in, bang. The top one just pushes through and it locks itself into place. Uh, yeah, up there, there we go, look. And this one's a red one, we just click that through that, push it and it just clicks in. Yeah, just like that, and then now that's locked in and it won't come out. Beautiful. There it is. Let's take that back in. Oh. And it works, even better. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, dear me. What an absolute... Oh, how do I get myself into these things? I don't get it. You're a fool. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Some tape. Look, this is some nice 3M gaffer tape. We'll get the link in the description for you as well for that. Really good stuff to stick this back together again. I put a bit on the inside edge there, facing outwards. Get that on there. Yeah, look, there we go. Speedy Lee, look at him go for it. He is absolutely flying. And a bit on the outside as well. And then that back bit will get a bit on the inside of that and a bit on the outside in there. Stick all that back together again as well. Oh, what a job look, eh? Should have gone into leg waxing. Let's get the door panel back on. Start with the switch. The little switch will just pop that back into place. Make it for the clip it in. That in. We'll get the door handle reconnected. So we're going to clip that back in first, pop the wire in, and swing that, swing that around and clip that in. Oops. Then we'll reconnect, pull that down, slide that into its little holder and press it in and it clips into place that's that in now the door panel is going to go in top end first so we slide the top up there push that down make sure those holes line up all the way around and then we can just pop it back in has anybody noticed the fundamental mistake yet i forgot to uh take something the door. <laughs> Any ideas? Press that, and then we'll have his five mil hex bolts back in again. I do love this screwdriver. I've had it for over thirty years. It is just amazing. Little snap-on ratchet screwdriver. I'll put a link in the description to a similar one off of uh, off the Amazon shop. But it is such a delight to use. If I remember right, I think it was their 75th year an uh, anniversary edition or something like that. So we'll clip those in, bottom first, clip top down. There was no better feeling than going on the snap-on lorry, checking out all the tools and coming off with something brand new and delightful. Just beautiful experience. When you're a young apprentice technician and uh, yeah, you get let loose in the snap-on truck, <laughs> Christmas comes early. There we go. Beautiful. Well, there you go.
now to get my torch out. Never mind. But there you go. There's a job. That's a fail, isn't it? That's the, <laughs> the door lock's done, though. Don't leave your torch in the door when you're finished. And, uh, yeah, you'll uh, save yourself a lot of work having to take the panel off again. But I hope that video's been of use to you. That's gone on okay. Slightly different shape to the old one. Just tiny fractions, but that's just the manufacturing of these tiny locks um, and handles. But looking good and a lot cheaper than the original. So, um, yeah, drop me a little thumbs up. Drop me some comments. Uh, always love your comments. Uh, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.